Hello, everybody. Jamie, Dave from photojeepers.com. We are here because we have a Facebook group, and this week the challenge in the group is weather. And so um, we want to come on and give a few tips about uh, things to do in different kinds of weather when you're wanting to go out and take photos. Okay? So, first one, rain. What kinds of things do we need to know about for the rain? Rain is wet. Yes, it is. Uh, you know, that's just being prepared. Um, you know, we, when we are hiking out uh, for a distance, we, uh, we uh, pack our gear in a, a backpack that, that has a uh, built-in rain cover that you can pull over it and it shields and protects our equipment and then uh, uh, a waterproof sleeve for your camera and your lens is very helpful and that way you can set up and you can can shoot photographs and have your uh, your rain sleeve over your camera and your lens and keep your equipment protected and still get your photos yeah all else fails. There's many times that I'm standing there with an umbrella, holding it over I have done that him while he's taking photos because, yeah. So um, just kind of being prepared with things just in case it rains, you know, for- It, it just depends, you know, that, that quote from Boris Gump, you know, that stinging rain and the sideways rain. Because you never know. <laughs> Yes, one hike we got drenched, but our camera stayed great because, you know, it was in a camera bag that had that cover, like Dave was saying, so that was perfect for us. All right, next one, um, cold weather. So if you yourself are prepared and have, you know, the right kind of clothing on, then you're going to be willing to stay out and take uh, photos. So the one thing is, you know, you as a photographer being prepared with the right clothing um, and the right gear for you, um, one of the things that Dave and I have come to have is, well, so this is a rechargeable hand warmer. We used to have those packets that you would shake, and sometimes they would work, and sometimes they wouldn't. And poor Dave, you know, we're out there, and our hands are so cold. This is like the best thing, huh? It is, yeah. We have one where we have two of them so that you can put one in each hand. And um, I don't get the cord out, but they, you know, can charge on your... Uh, portable chargers, um, in your car, on your uh, laptop, really handy. And they, let's see, they've lasted probably a full day yeah. on high. Yeah. So these these are awesome. That's like favorite thing. Um, yeah, and then when you're out and it's really cold, keeping your camera gear kind of at that right temperature too, not going in hot hot cars that has the heater on and then going out in the cold yeah and it's just being aware of the fact that in uh, significant changes of temperature that um, condensation will develop in your camera and your lenses so you know bear that in mind um, if you're traveling in the car what we always do is uh, dress warm we keep the windows down and try and keep the temperatures balanced so you don't have to deal with the, the changing uh, of the temperatures and worry about condensation developing in your camera and your lens. Another thing that helps too is to keep it well packed in, in the backpack um, yeah. while you're moving around and until you pull it out to get it set up to shoot. Yep, good tips. All right, the next one, because weather isn't always bad weather, sometimes you have a lot of sun and it's been hot. So again, for you as the photographer, please make sure you are carrying water with you when it's a hot day so that you stay hydrated and you don't get sick. Sunscreen and cover up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so we were just out this last weekend and it was an area that we hadn't been to before. So obviously we were spending all day exploring and there were times that Dave's like, this, I wish this would be so good if we could just be here at the good light. Well, you're not always gonna be everywhere at good light. So, what did you do when we had the major sun going on? Well, I just, what I what I do is I use a circular polarizer uh, filter on the lens and that, that helps to alleviate some of the harsh light and to balance some of the color and vibrancy in it. So, um, you know, you still don't get 
uh, you know, that awesome, soft, diffused light that you get and during the golden hour and the blue hour times. But you can at least get uh, some decent photographs of areas that you might want to take a picture of while you're out exploring around and the light is not perfect. Yeah. All right, and the last one, number four, is keeping your equipment clean. So when you're out in the elements, you've got, you can get rain spots from you know, rain and snow, uh, winds blowing, you can get dust. So have cleaning wipes available. Yeah, cleaning wipes and uh, a good uh, soft, what are those things called? Microfiber. Microfiber cloth. Yeah. A good soft uh, microfiber cloth. Um, you know, we, we like to shoot waterfalls uh, a lot and uh, you really need one with, with that because you're continually wiping the, the moisture off of your lenses. And uh, even if it's not raining, but um, you know, the, the, air, the air is moist and the wind's blowing around, you can get some, some moisture building up on your lens. And it's good to wipe that down on occasion and uh, to clean the end of your lens too with, with an, uh, a nice wipe. And don't forget your cell phone. So if you're out there with your cell phone, your cell phone lens will get dirty as well. And I, I, I mean, I don't know how many people think about doing that because it's not, you know, not this fancy lens. But um, you do need to clean your cell phone as well. That that lens gets dirty out there. So those are four tips that we have. Um, we'd love to be able to see your photos. So post them um, in the group. Your photography journey. Um, we'd love to see your your weather photos. We'll put links down below for the awesome stuff that we use, uh, the gear that we have. And um, thanks for being here. See you next time. See ya.